doodle. Dear family, dear family, it's your cousin, cousin P, man. Look here, I pray all is well out there. Just a second. Dear family, I pray all is well out there. How y'all feeling, man? It's your cousin P, man. We both belong. You know, it's my theme music, dear family. You got to... As we slip the night away. We're going to get into this podcast. Podcast. Titled, The Woman Is God Until She Introduce You to God. Wow. Dear family, dear family, it's your cousin, cousin Pete. We're we going to wait till everybody, come on, come on top of the knowledge, I need it. Oh, praise due to God. Uh, <clears throat> today's podcast, the woman is God until she introduce you to God. The woman is God until she introduce you to God. I just put my young in the sleep. And you know we got to start off with the theme music. If you haven't listened to um, um, the last two podcasts I did titled Healthy, what was it? Healthy Relationships Include Uncomfortable Conversations, Part 1 and Part 2. Go check that out. Your mother is God until she introduced you to God. All praises due to God. <clears throat> Tonight is going to be a scholarly teaching. What I mean by scholarly teaching as well as the supreme wisdom that was given to us by the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And uh, some things I may say you may not understand, but as scripture and Holy Quran reveals, there was a man that was to come in our midst and, and interpret the Bible and break down and decode the Bible and the secrets of the Bible. Because as we know, um, Pharaoh... And his magicians got a hold of the scriptures that we read today, which is called King James Version. And if you do study and research, uh, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said we have to speak truth to power. King James was a homosexual and he was a slave owner, just so you know. And as you also know that 14 books were taken out of the scripture that we read today. So we're basing a lot of our truths on half of the writing. But there was a man that Jesus said that would come. Elijah would come to restore all things new. And I say unto you, that's Elijah. How do I know it's Elijah? We will soon see by the supreme wisdom that was given to him by the son of man, which scripture reveals that will come from the east onto the west. So this, this podcast is going to be an epic podcast. It's going to be uh, something you probably never heard before. But as my father say, what good is the information if you don't give it to the people? You know, uh, so stay tuned. When we get up to 25 people, we gonna go. How y'all feeling out there, anyway? Oh, as we lay, 
I do not own the rights to this music that's playing. This is music that inspires my soul. I grew up off Shirley Murdoch. And if y'all know anything about good music, y'all know who Shirley Murdoch is. Dip Valley, Dip Valley, we're going to get this podcast started. I want to go to get this song to all the numbers tonight. And I expect that may be the whole world because everybody needs something, someone. There are books that will be revealed tonight that I have that you could purchase at NOI.org. The true history of Jesus Christ. Why do we say the true history? Because we know that the books were revised. We know that we were taken into bondage. We know that we were robbed of everything. And then we were given something different. So when we speak about the science of God. When we, t- when we speak about the spirit of God, when we talk about Jesus, the son of God, know that what was given to us is from Satan's interpretation, not the original man's interpretation. So this is going to be a scholarly teaching. The true history of Jesus. Also, The message to the black man. Whether you agree with the messenger or not. Just receive the message. And then do your scientific research to bear witness on whether he's telling the truth or not. Don't worry about the messenger. Just get the message. And do your research. Theology of time. The theology of time is a supreme wisdom that was given to us by the son of man that came to the hills of North America. He gave us the actual facts. He gave us the lakes, the rivers, the mountains, the square mileage, what the sun was made of, what produces rain. He gave us all the wisdom and science of God himself. You judge the tree by the fruit it bears to to tell whether or not he is who we say he is. So we're going to deal with this tonight. To my Christian family. Dear family. What I have to say tonight is not trying to wage a war. However, it's just setting dialogue and let's wrangle with the conversation so that we could teach one another. I love you. As a student of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, we want for our brother and our sister what we want for ourselves. I'm striving to be upright. Not that I am, but I'm striving to be. However, I've studied for many years to understand, uh, to bear witness to what I know and what I'm going to give you tonight. Stay tuned. The woman is God until she introduced you to God. This is today's podcast, dear family. We got it. This Bobby Womack. Come on, come on, come on. If you think you're lonely now, <laughs> yeah. Wait until tonight, girl. We're going to get rid of all the spooks tonight. We're going to get rid of all the ghost thinking. We're going to get rid of all the imaginary ghosts. We're going to deal with what Jesus told us to deal with. Works. Producing. Product. Tilled the ground. Faith is dead without the works. So you can have the faith all in God you wish, you want, or you desire. If you don't produce, if the God within don't come out of you, you will be with nothing. So let's get this podcast started, dear friend.
For those who care to stay this moment, I'm going to be about 30 minutes on this podcast tonight because this is a scholarly teaching. I may have to do two or three uh, pod um, podcasts on this. Um, the woman is God until she introduced you to God. I'm going to get into some science for you first. And I want you to get your pen and your paper and you write down what I have to say. And if you in disbelief of it or you feel as though you need more um, information on what I'm saying, feel free to, you know, hit me right here. And I, I, I dig a little deeper for you to give you the wisdom. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, Master of Day of Judgment. Dear alone do we serve and dear alone do we seek help. O oh Allah, guide us on the right path, the path upon those who have bestowed favors, not upon those whose wrath is brought down, nor those who go astray. O oh Allah, we thank you for Jesus in the gospel. We thank you for Moses in the Torah. And we thank you for Muhammad, for the Holy Quran. Peace and blessings be upon these mighty giants that came before us, yet to guide all of us on the right path. As God raises messengers and prophets from among the people, these people are designed to do a specific job for specific people. Let's not get things misconstrued on a prophet coming and he's doing something for the whole humanity. People are raised from among the people to teach the people because the people are living a savage and beast life. So let's get into that first. Um, Moses came to the children of Israel. Jesus was sent to the Jews and the Gentiles. Listen to me, dear family. Jesus wasn't sent to the black man and black woman when Jesus was among us. If you're reading scripture correctly, he was sent to the Jews and the Gentiles. Jews and Gentiles are white people because they were living a savage and beast life. And God always raises one from among the people to teach the people. And through periods of time, he sends a messenger or a prophet to represent himself and to represent God in the absence of God himself. So a prophet is one who prophesies for something to happen, not that it did happen. How do we bear witness that a prophet have came? Because what they have, what they speak, it has to come into existence. Not that it's happening, but it has to come into existence so we can say, damn, he said what was going to happen and it did happen. That's what a prophet is. He prophesizes on what's to come. He said there will be fire. He said there will be water. He said certain things will happen. All these prophets coming and explaining to the people of certain times what was to come. That's a prophet prophesizing into the future. Okay, dear family, pay attention. And so when we look at The son of man that was to come from the east. He's coming from the east. And let me make something very clear, dear family. There's a lot of uh, different perceptions about Islam and our Islam. I want to correct that tonight. The black man and black woman is the mother of civilization. Before it was an Arab, it was a black man and a black woman. Before there was a any other race on our planet, black is the essence which all colors come. We are the mother and the father of it all. So when I say assalamu alaikum to you, dear family, 
I'm only speaking in the original tongue, not an Arabic tongue as an Arabic person out in the Middle East, because that Arabic people is originated from the black man and black woman. And this is why they call mother, the. this is why they call Africa the mother of civilization, because we produce them into existence, dear family. Let's not get it twisted. So when I greet you with the greetings of peace, in the Arabic language, the Arabic language is the original language of the black man and black woman before we were robbed of a name, a heritage, a culture, a religion. Remember that, dear family. So let's not get that misconstrued on when I say assalamu alaikum. Remember, Jesus only spoke Arabic and Hebrew. He knew nothing about the English language because English the American English language wasn't the language at the time. He spoke Arabic. So if he said, if he was saying peace beyond to you in his Arabic, he would have said, Salaam Alaikum. In his Hebrew, he would have said, Salaam Alaikum. See, once you break down the science of the scriptures and understand, but I wouldn't have this wisdom and I wouldn't have this knowledge if the son of man didn't come from the East and raise one from among us to teach us the knowledge of self. Who was the devil and who was God? So let's make that very clear. That Jesus said you would do un you would do unto Jesus like you done unto him. Meaning he will come among you and you, you would notice him not. That's Matthew 17. Go read all your Matthews 17 in the John chapters and you will find what I'm saying to, to be truth that you may bear witness. Now, title of the podcast, Mother is a God until she introduced you to God. Understand that, dear family. Mother is God until she introduced you to God. Why do I say that? God and the creator is two different people. I'm going to say that again, dear family. God and the creator are two different people. The creator said, let there be, and there was light. God said, let us make man. To make and to create is two different entities, two different substances. To make something is to take what's already here and produce it into existence. To create something is to have nothing and bring it from the mass, bring it from the atom of life and will it into existence. Let there be light and there was light. That's willing something from an atom into existence. God said, let us make man. Make us the manufacture something. If I go downstairs and make me some pancakes, I'm going to take some eggs. I'm going to take some, uh, some flour probably. I may even take some water and I'm going to make it from the substance or uh, the items that's already here. Understand the difference, dear family. You got to become a critical thinker and you can't be so emotional and bent out of shape that you want to uh, continuously uh, not educate yourself or re-educate yourself when something just don't sound right. Become a critical thinker so you can know the difference of meanings because we get caught up in these words and we take them for face value. But did you know that God is mathematics and science? And this is what the white man did. We gave white, we gave the devil, I'm going to say devil, let us make man and give him power and dominion for a certain period of time. We'll get into that shortly. So the creator, you want to Elijah Muhammad taught us that he created himself out of triple darkness. The only thing is in the only thing closer to triple darkness is the mother's womb, which we all come from. Triple darkness. He said, in outer space, there was nothing but the God began to wheel from an atom. 
and produce himself. And he said the first thing that was created was the brains because you need brains to think. And then the body started to manifest out of an atom. I know a lot of you don't even know what an atom is. But did you know that, the, and, and this kills me when people say, take me as I am. You don't even know what a damn atom is. You don't even know how to crack an atom. You ain't been a Mars yet. Take you, is that, take you as you are? That's all you got to offer, dear family? Don't ever say, take me as I am. This is who I am. Study to show self-approval. It teaches that. It teaches us that um, um, to understand the knowledge and wisdom of God, we will have to count every grain of, of sand on the beach and under the ocean. We'll be counting for infinity until we die. So that's the wisdom and knowledge of God himself. And so the creator created himself out of triple darkness. And the Holy Quran says with the same essence, he created him, self, he created womb, man. Come on, dear family. Why is this black woman, which is the original woman of our planet, how is she a God? How is she a God? The creator, the one of Elijah Muhammad teaches that the creator took the same essence. In the Bible, it talks about the rib. Rib only represents the same DNA. The creator took the same essence that he created himself and produced womb, man, from himself. This is why the man holds both chromosomes and woman only holds one. Man bring man holds the seed of life and woman brings forth life. And so as the creator needed to reproduce himself, he can he 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 started to as the honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches look within himself and started to produce a mate to reproduce him. I'm going to say that again, dear family. Y'all ain't listening. In the word woman, you have the word man. In the word womb, woman, you also have the word womb. Womb is that which produces human life into existence. A womb produces life into existence. So if the creator created the woman from himself, he took from himself to produce womb, man. Woman comes from man. That is the creator. Yet the creator produced woman to reproduce himself. We talking about the beginning of life on every planet in the solar system, the creator produced woman to reproduce himself. So it's taught every time you looking at a black man, you looking at God. Every time you looking at a woman, you looking at a reflection of God. So here's this woman that is created with the same essence from the creator. That the creator created out of himself. He dug within himself and brought that which was in out. And this is why the woman has one chromosome from man, which is the creator. But the creator has both. Now, I told you to be a scholarly teaching. If you ain't studied, you don't know where I'm going, but I'm going to slow down for you. In this process of producing womb man from man, the Holy Quran says that the woman is what but one degree under man. I never understood for 30 years what that one degree meant. But as I grew in wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, the one degree to me personally only represents strength. A man is physically stronger than the woman, and that's a degree because a woman will outthink a man, outwork a man, outgrow a man in every which way. So the Honorable Elijah Muhammad came, he said that heaven lies at the footstep of woman. So when you're looking for God, you're really looking for 
a reflection of him, and that is a woman. As the one of Elijah Muhammad teaches, she is the second coming of God. Take it or let it alone. When we come out of our mother's womb, she is our first teacher. She is our nurturer. She is our provider. She is our protector. Everything that's in the creator is in the woman. Everything that's in the creator is in the woman. And this is why the woman is so powerful, so sacred in Islam. And your womb is so um in the in the teachings of Islam, we are to protect the woman with our lives because she brings forth life as every prophet and every messenger that has come in has walked this planet has came through woman. We're going to get into that spooky stuff in a minute. And so the woman is God until she introduced you to God. Who was the woman to introduce her siblings, pardon me, her offsprings to God? Ooh, this is scholarly teaching, man. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that heaven lies at the footstep of a woman. The word heaven represents peace. When you look at Jesus says, as it is in the heavens, so shall it be on the earth. What do you mean by that, Jesus? Well, you see the moons, you see the stars, you see the sun, all in obedience to God's will. All created for a purpose to serve man on planet. Come on, dear family. The moon is to serve man. The sun is to serve man. The stars is to serve man. He said when the, when the moon, when the sun is gone, the moon stands in the place absent of the sun. And when the sun is gone, the stars are a reflection of the moon and stars representing energy, representing motion, representing life, all are in obedience to God's will for man and woman. But Jesus said, as it is in the heavens, so shall it be on earth. What do you mean by that? Everything is in peace. Because the word heaven only represents peace. When you look up, it just looks so peaceful. Everything is in obedient to God's will. So he said, in the heavens, it will be on earth. What is it on the planet earth that brings us peace? When the man go to jail, who we looking for? When the man need a place to stay, who we looking for? When a man needs something to eat, who we looking for? <laughs> when a man want to feel good, who we looking for? When the man back is hurting, who he looking for? Huh? Talk to me, dear family. You looking for woman. The cultivator, the nurturer. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said the man is the, prote the protector, the provider, and the maintainer of life. He is God's Khalifa, meaning Man takes the place of God himself on earth. Why do you think you love Jesus so much? Why do you think you love that man so much that died at 36 years old according to the teachings of the Most Honorable Elijah Muhammad, not 33? He went to plenty universities in Mecca. Jesus, who I'm referring to, this is some of the wisdom that you didn't receive because there was a man named King James. And I want you to Google King James tonight so you could know you got it from this black man they call Cousin Pete and you get it from the white man, which they call Google, then you will have it in black and white so you can identify who King James is. 
Because Honor Elijah Muhammad teaches that when you read a book, you, you start at the author of it and you study the author. Then you'll know what you're reading because you will get into the mindset of who wrote the book. So, dear family, woman is the second coming of God himself. Take it or let it alone. She is not to be abused. She is not to be afflicted with any pain other than love. Woman decides to take her children to church or to the mosque, introducing you to God. Because in the beginning was the word and the word was God in the spirit of God dwelled among many men. Come on. The woman is God until she introduce you to God. When you go to church, if you go to church or you go to the mosque or you go to the synagogue, the mother takes her offspring and sets them in a setting that represents God. What is God? The word God means force and power. We are caliphs of God. We, we hold the force and power to our lives to do as we please. Talk to me, dear family. I told you it'll be a scholarly teacher. I ain't even scratched the surface yet. And so when mother takes her offspring to church or to the synagogue or to the mosque, she's introducing her offspring to God himself. God himself are the words of the prophets, are the words of the messengers. See, in the beginning was the what? Word of God. See, it's the word that transfigurate and make and inspire you and motivate you and you feel good. You be in church and a preacher preaching and you dancing hallelujah, you feel the energy of the word that pierce your soul. See, the pure word of God by nature, we're connected to positive and great energy by nature. Although the environment is stronger than the nature and we go astray. But when mother introduces us to God, she introduces us to the word of God because it's already embedded in our DNA. Did you know that your brain records everything that you have done your whole entire life? So when you say God is listening, God is hearing, God knows, God sees, God hears, that's you. You know all the wrong you ever done. You know all the right you ever done. You know what you should not be doing. Huh? Talk to me. You know what you should be doing. You see everything. You hear everything. Come on. Come on. Oh, this is a scholarly teaching. So God's in the midst of the most high God is what scriptures say. We are all God's listening and hearing and observing everything. The brain is recording every wrong and every right thing we do. And this is why it's called God said balance is the key to success. I say it in all my songs. Balance is the key to success because if too much of anything is no good, if you're off balance, you're going to fall. Balance. Balance is the key to success. So mother introduces us to the church. She introduces us to the mosque. She introduces us to the synagogue. She's introducing us to the word of God. So that the word of God may unlock Ooh, the DNA within us, may unlock the God within us to be upright. See, this is what the cross is. It's upright, horizontal. Horizontal represents death, obedient. Upright represents righteous. And, and obedience, pardon me, horizontal represents disobedience and death, perpendicular. 
upright represents righteous in obedience to God's will. So you say Jesus died on the cross. He talked about the crossroad. He talked about the decision of the valley of death. See, we always lusting after lower desires on a horizontal stage, like a snake in the grass. So this cross truly represents decision making. Either you're going to be obedient to the will of God or you're going to be disobedient to the will of God. This is what life and death actually means, dear family. I'm going, I'm giving you a, listen, listen. Obedience represents life and disobedience represents death. You die spiritually, morally, physically, economically. You die in the eyesight of God. What happened to Adam? Wasn't Adam in the, wasn't Adam in the garden and Adam was told not to eat from the tree, the apple? The apple wasn't a physical apple, not according to scripture. Let me grab them scriptures, brother. See, that's why I says bless those who read and understand. The apple, the scripture reveals that it represented knowledge. God said, Adam, don't you eat from that tree. You can eat from everything but that tree because that tree, once you eat from it, you will surely die. Ain't that what he said? You will surely die. Did he die a physical death or did he die a different death? So you got things so misconstrued on what you perceive life and death is. This devil has twisted us and mixed us up. Let's deal with Adam in the garden. He was told not to eat from a particular tree, which represented a fruit, which was an apple. He said, God said, once you eat from that tree, you will surely die. Well, contrary to what God said, Adam ate from the tree. He bit from the apple. And as scripture reveals, after he bit from the apple, he, he heard God walking in the garden. Oh, God got feet. He walking. He can hear him walking. See, we're going to get on God being a human being and not just this spook goat spirit on, the next, on another podcast, but Adam hear him's walking and they said that Adam hid behind the leaf trees uh, naked. Naked only represents shame. He was ashamed that he was in disobedience to God's instructions. So this is why I'm telling you and I'm teaching you, dear family, obedience, he died lusting after his lower desires. Adam, he didn't die a physical death. He died a mentally deaf, a spiritual death, a morally deaf, a principle death in the eyesight of God. And he started lusting after his lower desires like a snake in the grass, horizontal. Oh, disobedience. It's your cross. You see it on the back of a annual lamb. You see it in the, uh, 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 when you go to the cemetery. It, upright. So this this is represents decision making. It don't represent that Jesus died on the cross, dear family, because according to scripture, who told you that Jesus died on the cross? Now we get into some wisdom. This ain't what the book say. The book states that Jesus was stabbed by the sheriffs and he died in the streets. I want you to go to your pastors and tell them, pull up that he got on the cross and he died. Because Paul tell a different story. Come on. We could go all through this. But Luke tell a different story. And if these different stories, if there's different stories by different messengers or different pro uh, prophets, then... We're going to charge scripture with being contradictory. Because if all the people are from God himself, God never changes. The truth never changes. Only a lie changes a million times. How did he die? Did the one prophet get it wrong? 
Then another prophet got it right. Then another prophet got it wrong. Yet they are the representatives of the creator themselves. No, sir. Go do your studies. Now. Understand that upright represents obedience. Horizontal represents disobedience. You have your cross. Mother introduces her children to God by the word of God first. Because the word of God triggers the brain that God has created. See, this womb of a woman is the mother, is God's workshop. He's working in the womb in triple darkness with eggs and sperm. This is the beauty of the creator. And this is why woman brings forth life. This is why when the first woman was created by the creator himself, she was to produce the creator again and keep producing and keep producing. This is how life goes on, dear family. So the mother is God until she introduce you to God. And once she introduce you to God, and once you know God, you are held accountable for your own life. What decisions are you making now? God, our mother is to have us for a certain period of time. Grooming us, shaping us, teaching us, guiding us. Fathers, I'm going to get into that on another podcast. We're talking about how powerful this woman is tonight. She cooks for the child. She teaches the child ABCs. She does it all for a certain period of time. And this is why there's a motherly love that's unexplainable. Because me as a father, oh, my kids know, ooh, ooh. I'm the force and power of God. And the woman is the, is the cultivator and, and, and the nurturer of God. I got zero tolerance for bullshit with my children. All of them know it. If it ain't right, you're going to hear from me. Because I'm the example now because I did a whole lot of things wrong. And that's why I know how to get it right. Get back to the mother. So... This mother introduces us to the church. The church give us the wisdom. Once you lock into the spirit of God, which is the words of God, the mind opens up into the universe. And now, now we're able to see the moon, the suns, the sun, the stars, God's creation. We're able to see bees, ants, birds, God's creation. And we are to become studiers of God's creation. The mother introduces us to God. And when you study God, Scripture says, study to show self approved. When you study God, you line, when you study God, listen to me, dear family, when the mother Get you into the church to get the words and the wisdom of the messengers and the prophets and the gods. And when you study God, you align yourself in obedient with God. And then you become the reflection of God and you become a God. And this is why scripture say ye are all gods in the midst of the most high God. But there's levels. There's levels to the wisdom of God. And so as you see Jesus saying, when you see me, you see the father. He didn't say, I am the father. Jesus didn't say, I created the sun, moon, and stars. Jesus didn't create the mother that he came from, nor the father, which is Joseph, that he came from. But he was set to do he was set to come into existence for a purpose, according to scripture. This is a scholarly teaching, dear family. 
and his purpose was and is he's the perfect example of what obedience look like and what God want us to be. And this is why Jesus said back in Matthews again, don't worship me. Why are y'all worshiping him? He said, don't worship me, worship him who sent me. So I perceive forth from him. My meat could do nothing. It's him who sent me. God sent Jesus to us as an example. As an example to be. Jesus is the perfect example in obedience to God. And this is why he's honored all over the planet. This is why he's honored in the Holy Quran. Did you know that Mary, his mother Mary, has more pages in the Holy Quran than any other person in the Holy Quran? That any, any other person that ever came? See, they didn't taught y'all that this Holy Quran is not for us. But I just told you that they robbed us of a name. And this is why we in Jones, we in Jackson's, we in Culpepper, we in Michael's, we all in these slave owners names that's not of our own. So when I say Kuta Kinte or Derek Williams, which one is a black man? If I say Wing Ting Tong or I say uh, Michael Thompson. Which one is a Chinese man? You see the identity that has been stolen from the original man and the original woman? He was Kuta Kente till they whooped him into Toby. So understand how Satan works. I'll get into how does Satan come into existence on another podcast. And when I do that one, you're going to... I'm going to give you straight, true words on who Satan is on our planet in power, ruling, and you believe in everything. Be careful if you took that shot, dear family. God ain't had no devil come say that they just, if you go to YouTube right now, they just so said that Dr. Fauci has been, Fauci, whatever his name is, has been lying to the mass of the people. He's, he's part of a big power. That's bigger than the United States. That's why they can't set him down. You know, Biden is in office, but Biden don't run a damn thing. You better go study the people who control America and everything else. The synagogue of Satan, the people in power, the people by. Hey, let me tell you, whoever has the money has the power. I'll get into that another day. So mother introduces us to God. Mother is God until she introduces us to God. And once she introduces us to God, we are held accountable to stand like a God and represent God as Adam was representing him, but not in disobedient way, not in a disobedient way. We ought to represent God in an obedient way. We ought to represent God as Jesus represented God. So when you see me, you see the father. I have children. And they say, damn, you just look just like your father. When you see my son, you see me. Because you know my conduct. You know my character, those who know me. You know what I'm capable of doing. You know what I'm about. And if you've seen one of my offsprings from my loins doing the same thing that you've seen me do, you will say, when I see you, I see your father. <laughs> So this is why they say, when you when Jesus said, I when you see me, you see the Father. For I am the door. I am the light. I am that I am. The I am that I am means I'm the beginning and the ending. To what? He's the beginning of obedience and he's the end uh, to obedience. Because the universe was created in harmony, dear family. So in conclusion, the owner of Muhammad said that a man visited America in 1930, 2029. He said, Elijah said, this man taught me for three years and four months. He was prophesied to come. 
the scripture says that a people were hit in the head and driven on the western course and buried like shallow bones in a grave, dead, deaf, dumb, and blind to the knowledge of self. He said they will be in this belly of the beast or in bondage for 400 years. The children of Moses, the children of Israel was in bondage for 400 years. But this particular people, the scriptures say that will be, they will be a stranger in a land that's not of their own. The children of Israel was in bondage in their land. The scriptures say this particular people will be a stranger in a land not of their own. We are in a strange land, not of our own. As we all know that our forefathers and parents were brought here. He said this person who brought them here will afflict them as a taskmaster for 400 years. And after the 400 years, I will come. This is scripture being fulfilled. Take it or let it alone. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that this man that's to come, <clears throat> he will come like a thief in the night. A thief in his night is somebody coming unnoticed. And he's taking everything. But this son of man, the son of man will come from the east unto the west looking for that which was lost. <clears throat> and so that man came, according to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. And he said he will come in sinful flesh. Sinful flesh represents What human being on our planet is causing destruction, death, murder. Everywhere he goes on a planet, he kills, he destroys the people, he pollutes the air, he pollutes the water. <clears throat> Who is that man? So the son of man is to come in that type of flesh, the sinful flesh. That man is a sinner who does all that is my point. But the son of man is to come in sinful flesh, looking like them, but not of them. He came into America, which is the belly of the beast, which scripture reveals. Looking like them in sinful flesh, but the son of man, meaning the God of our times. Yeah, Jehovah was a God to Moses. <clears throat> And they said that he will be in the belly of the beast for three days, meaning three years. The belly of the beast is considered America. And this is why the scripture in Revelations reveals about the mystery Babylon. Because if you look at the old Babylon, the old Babylon was full of full of fornication, homosexuals and everything. Every They doing everything other than godly. And God destroyed the land of Babylon which is next door to Kuwait. Don't a blade of grass grow next door to Kuwait in, in, in West Africa. And I want to say for the record, when you talk about Kuwait, when you talk about all these countries, that's West Africa, which is all black people. Just so you know. But don't a blade of grass, grass grow there. But he said there was a mystery Babylon that will be in the future. And who fits the description of the mystery Babylon? The synagogue of Satan, the man with the power destroying the, the Indian race, destroyed the black race, destroyed every race that he came in contact with. Who is that man? That's who Satan is in sinful flesh. But the son of man was to come for three days in the belly of the beast and raise somebody named Elijah, according to scripture. And Elijah taught us that this man <clears throat> taught him for three years and four months. He taught him about the people on Mars. I know that sounds foolish to you, but the white man has a telescope that looks on Mars and goes to Mars and contraptions and study the people there. You know what I'm saying? 
He taught us about the actual facts, the mountains. What was, the, how did the mountains be produced on the planet? He taught us the nature of ourselves and who we are. He taught us the essence of the of the original man and the original woman. He taught us about the Mexican family. He taught us about the every race on our planet. He taught us how the moon was created. He taught us how the sun was created. This is, I told you at the beginning of this podcast that God is mathematics and science. This son of man taught us every ounce of wisdom that was hidden from us. In order to be prepared for what's to come in our times. So when I tell you, be wise of the hour in which we're living. Be wise of the times. Don't make foolish mistakes. Letting Satan put something in your arm. Ain't that what the scripture said? The scripture said that according to scripture again. I'm giving you scholarly teaching, dear family. The children of Israel were waking up. Pharaoh called all his priests in. He said, come on, let's deal wisely with them before they multiply and come against us. The word was multiplied, is what scripture says. The children of Israel represents the black man and black woman in the hills of North America. You could take it a letter alone. We are the children of Israel. And so the Pharaoh is the government of the United States of America that controls the whole planet. You could take it. They got the powerfulest military on the planet and everybody bows down to Satan. You could take it or let it alone. So in the prophecy revealed by scripture. It said that the children are waking up. We're waking up. We no longer want to eat pork and beef because we knew that was messing with our minds and destroying us and pork got worms and we can't think. They sent the bottles and the guns and the drugs all in the neighborhood, engineeredly designed to keep us deaf, dumb, and blind. We're waking up. We no longer want to eat that foolish. We all want to eat healthy. You don't see the universe changing before your eyes, dear Fanny? Everybody want to get a green smoothie. Everybody want to get off the meat because that stuff is doing us bodily harm. The children are waking up, but the scripture reveals that Pharaoh noticed it. And he's called all his priests in. Come on, let's deal wisely with them before they multiply and come against us. The word was multiply. To multiply is to produce. See, this, see, sister, on another podcast, I told you about the plan B. I told you about parent planhood. I told you about uh, hysterectomies and how and, and cysts on your ovaries. And I told you where it come from. They are tampering, dear family. They are sterilizing a black man and black woman as we speak. They did it to the Indians. You think they ain't going to, they, they find that we're waking up. So they have to deal wisely with us before we multiply. Multiply is dealing with the reproductive system of the woman. And this is why the woman having cysts on their ovaries, but they don't know where it's coming from. It's poison coming from the plan B that you take, the prenatal pill that you take. This is Satan's university. When you go to the doctor, that's Satan's world. He controls the peel. He controls the water. He controls the air. You got to know who you dealing with, dear family. So all these women all of a sudden having hysterectomies. They're destroying the reproductive system of the black man, the black woman, and sterilizing the black man. That's what's going on, dear family. Come on, let's deal wisely with them before they multiply. According, I want you to go to NOI.org. According to the United States policy is too many people on the planet Earth. They got to get rid of 7 billion people. I ain't said it. That's, that's if you go NOI.org, the memorandum states in the policy of the United States. This is why Bill Gates is doing what he's doing. Did you know that Bill Gates bought 285 million acres of land and now he said he want to feed us and now they're talking about we could give them vaccines through the food that we eat? They produce our food for us. And you wonder why we sick with hepatitis B, uh, high blood pressure, cancer this, AIDS that. Dear family, we at war and you don't even see it. 
and you foolish enough to continue to eat. I watched a, I watched a, a, a documentary maybe about seven years ago. White man was giving wisdom. He said they dump all the bad foods with pet, with poison inside the foods in the black and brown neighborhoods. When I watch that documentary, I don't never buy chips or buy anything from predominantly black neighborhoods because that's where the poison come from. They poison it. That's why we lead in cancer. We lead in high blood pressure. It looked the same, but it's not the same. It tastes the same, but different ingredients. If they can make some goddamn Dorito chips taste like barbecue, this man, this white man is a scientist. You could take what I'm saying and let it alone. But the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, this man came and taught us the actual facts and the supreme wisdom. He taught us about the mother wheel that's in the sky. You could take it and let it alone. So you got to understand what you're dealing with, dear family. And you got to be wise in the hour or you will lose your life. So with that said, we were given a theology of times on what's to come. This book has told us what's to come. Minister Louis Farrakhan has revealed for years, what's to come? It's a man in our midst by the grace of God that you don't even know. Because you, as the scriptures say, they deaf. They deaf because they don't hear the call or the wisdom given to them. They're blind because the devil is right in their face, feeding them all type of soy. I bet you, if you go to your kitchen right now, you have soy in your bread. You have soy in all the food. They put soy in the candy bars. That is genetically modified cancerous causing agents. And they blind. You don't even see it. But it tastes good to you. But it has poison in there that you're going to create the breast cancer for sale. That you're going to, brothers, we going to got <clears throat> uh, have cancer growing in us. And cancer only comes from acidic bodies. Bodies that's poison and toxic. Be sure to alkaline your body with, you know, over a seven or eight and eat good foods, man. Put good foods in your dear family. Eat one meal a day if you can and get the poison out of you. In conclusion, because I just said that a thousand times, but God just keep putting the wisdom. The son of man came and gave us the wisdom, the knowledge and the understanding of the times, what's the, what was to come and what to look for. So as I'm telling you, about the creator, as I'm telling you about Moses and Aaron and Joshua, as I'm telling you about Elijah. You need to go study these people very thoroughly in this time. As I call this podcast, the woman is God until she introduced you to God. And when she introduced, when the mother introduced the her offspring to God, she puts them in the mosque. She puts them in the church and we get the word of God. And then we find out that we is the God. We are the gods. <laughs> so every time you're looking at a black man or a black woman, you're looking at God. Every time you're looking at a brown man or a brown woman, you're looking at a reflection of God. Because all colors come from black. All of them. When you look at the white man, the white man came out of the black man. He only been on our planet 6,000, about 6,200, 300 years. That's it. He's not a native nowhere on our planet because he was grafted out of the original man. You think that God just birthed him on the planet and could, no, 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 that ain't how it work. See, God is mathematics and science, dear family. And this is what Satan took out of scripture. So he got you looking. He told us that hell was under the ground. Well, if you keep digging hard enough and long enough under the ground, your ass going to end up out of space somewhere with that foolish thinking. Or he told us when we die, we go out of contraption of the planet Earth where there's no oxygen and then there's these pearly gates with lined with gold. And, and the last time I checked, Jesus said, as it is in the heavens, so shall it be on the earth. He said, milk and honey flows in the land of the earth. Honey don't, gold don't materialize out of the contraption of the planet. If you come go out of the contraption of the planet, 
you you better go in a spaceship. You better go in you better go in something that's gonna give you some oxygen, or you just gonna be a dead person thinking it's something out there other than what uh I'm actually telling you tonight. But I don't mean to ruffle your feathers. The mother is God until she introduced you to God. The mother is the second coming of God. She's the nurturer. She's the a cultivator. She's the first teacher of life. And she introduces us to God through the word of God. And then once we get the word of God, we find out that we are a God. And we are supposed to set the example like Jesus did our brother. So let's give it up for the sister. She's so beautiful. Let's give it up for the brown sister. Let's give it up for the red sister. The yellow sister. I thank y'all for listening to me. This is part one. Mother is a God until she introduced you to God. If you have any questions that you want to ask your cousin P, feel free. I represent so black and so beautiful. So brown and so beautiful. And I salute y'all for listening. Thank you. If you have any questions for me, uh, type them in and I answer them. Any questions, dear family? Any questions, dear family? Yeah, that woman produces life on our planet. She brings forth life on the planet. She brings life out of her womb, which represents triple darkness. Just as you see in the heavens, triple darkness. The woman carries the atom of life. And as the creator created himself, he took the same essence and created woman. And this is why the woman is able to reproduce uh, the creator himself. So just imagine if the creator was one and he is womb man, the womb from man produced woman. And now the creator impregnates the woman and the woman reproduces the creator and continues to reproduce and we reproduce you see how that works i know i know it's hard for you to believe dear family how powerful this woman is but she reproduces life and that's why they want to kill life that's why the black man is locked down in prisons they don't want the black man to know who he is they don't want him to know who we are Change your name and get out of the slave name and get back in your original name. And once you get back in the original name, you'll get back to your original language. You'll get back to your original culture. You'll get back to your original religion. But you got to start somewhere. Start with your name. Get out of, don't you know that all the black men, you know, you got the LeBron James. His family was, uh, uh, captured by the, the, the Mr. James plantation. <laughs> you got uh, Curry, Kobe Bryant, all these slave names that was given to us. We took on a plantation's owner slave name that he may identify his slave. Get out of those names. Let's start there first, dear family. The gay agenda to take over our ability to multiply. You see how they doing? Let's deal wisely with them be before they come against us. Before they multiply and come against us. Now the gay agenda is in full role. It's in the cartoons. If you say anything about the gay people, it's not the it's the people that's in position of power that's destroying people's lives. But that's the agenda today, dear family. You can take it or let it alone. Any questions you may have, write them. Your mother is God until she introduced you to God. If you have any questions, come on with it. If you have any questions, feel free because, you know, I always say, give me the questions now so I can come among the people and teach the people opposed to getting behind the scene and then writing these paragraphs and stuff. 
Say it now, and I'll be gladly to answer the question. I appreciate the love, sister. Wait until tonight, girl. Go to soblackandsobeautiful.com. Get your apparel. If you have bought CMOS, I got a good sale going right now with CMOS. CMOS jars are going for $25. If you have purchased CMOS from soblackandsobeautiful.com, get your CMOS in your bottle, your body. It, it, it deals with thyroids. It deals with cancer. It deals with... Uh, um, high blood pressure issues uh, It uh, it makes man strong <laughs> If you know what I mean uh, It deals with so many uh, Benefits to CMOS It's crazy Google CMOS today But if you purchase CMOS From me Before Your next purchase at $25 There's a code That you will have to put in um, And it will Drop the price down at $25 from get your seed miles. I got the elderberry, the zinc, and the ginger. Talk to me, man. I'm gonna talk back. Any questions you may have? Any questions you may have, dear family? Talk to me. If you have any questions, feel free to type them in. Type them in. I need three more minutes. Three minutes, baby. Two minutes. No questions, no questions. I want to thank everybody for listening to me, man. You know, the album Fall of America is dropping 11 12. It had pushed back um, due to clearance issues. Um, um, and, you know, that's you get your seat mods, get your apparel, go to soblackandsobeautiful.com. You know, uh, if you look in the book, Cousin P, uh, DM me, um, you know, for speaking engagements or uh, for music. Talk to me, you know what I'm saying? And I'll talk back. We got one minute, and I'm going to let y'all go. I'm going to let y'all go, baby. F O Y, F O Y, baby. <laughs> Live peace by peace by face. In the army, they go like this. One of Blaji Muhammad say, "Look, make sure ain't no danger. Look, I pop and you get the pop it. You get the pop it. You get the pop it. You get the pop it." <laughs> Any questions, dear family? Any questions? Well, thank y'all for listening to your cousin P, man. The mother is God until she introduce you to God. And you are the God. Pardon me, you are a God. And this is why scripture and holy Quran says, ye are all gods in the midst of the most high God. Khalifa, one who takes the place of another. Vicegerent, we are them. You have the force and the power of your life, your will to this will, whatever you want into existence by the thought and the brain. Your thought, you just manifest it through the faith is dead without works. You got to go to work to produce that, dear family. So with that said, man, shout out to the black woman. Shout out to all women, period. Shout out to the brown woman. Shout out to the red woman. Shout out to the yellow woman and those of white that want to be right. May Allah bless us. I close as I came in the buying greetings of peace. Assalamu alaikum.